Hey, Attorney Chandra Vetner Gray here, and I wanted to come in for a few minutes to give you five tips for estate planning. So, number one, make a list of everything you own. Nothing is too small. So, I, in fact, I wrote a list right here. So, it needs to include your investments, properties, any sort of real property that you have, even um, just land, whatever kind of properties that you may have heirlooms, things that have been passed down over the generations, things that you want to pass down. Um, you want to think about do you own business or businesses? Several of us have multi businesses or side hustles. You want to think about those things and how you imagine them um, kind of going to the next generation or whether they're going to die with you. You want to think of what succession plan you have for your businesses. Okay, vehicles, liquid assets, collectibles, among all other things. Some people have like shoe collection, purse collections, jewelry, diamond rings, whatever it is. You want to take account of every single thing that you have. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, and I think very, very important, consult with an attorney or an estate planning or tax advisor you want to make sure you do this and I'm saying or but it may be both and so you want to make sure that you speak to a professional that this is what they do because no matter how much we google or no matter how much we think we know or we've experienced through life having someone who has studied and this is what they do for a living is only going to empower you they're going to make sure that you know the things that you don't know they're going to make sure that you step over the things that might be troublesome so no matter the investment it's worthwhile and it's going to help you avoid tens of thousands of dollars in expenses of fixing things if you got them wrong or when you get them wrong number three you want to be thinking about choosing the person or persons that you can trust most of all to handle things whether you're incapacitated or when you pass away. Who is it or who are they? I've had so many people come to me knowing that they need to put an estate plan in place and they have given no thought. They have not thought about who is the person who's going to be your power of attorney or your um, health care proxy or your executor or executrix. Um, you want to think about these things and make sure that this is a person that you can trust literally with your life. So that's number three. Moving on to number four. You want to make sure that you update, if you have one in place already, your estate plan regularly. It's a new year and I'm already thinking about my estate plan that I established, I guess about a year or two years ago. Um, I'm trying to think of what things have gone on in my life and how can I make it better? How can I make it stronger? How can I make sure that if I can't update it again, that it's, it's airtight? So there's all kinds of things and reasons to think about updating your estate plan from a new year to um, a new birth maybe a death, a marriage, a new home, or any sort of um, assets that you have amassed that you didn't maybe have some months or years ago. You want to be thinking about how can you always refine and make better the plan that you have in place. And number five, not ten, five, stop procrastinating. Time is the only thing that we have that we can't earn more of or buy more of or get back. And we don't really know what tomorrow holds. You know, it's that cliche that we hold on to, but it's really not a cliche because we don't know. And all we know is that we have this moment right now. And with this moment, what are you doing? Have you put a plan together to make sure that whether you're here tomorrow or not, your loved ones are taken care of and your legacy is established? I want to help you. You can go to my website right now, BetnerGrayLaw.com, and book a consultation. Let's sit down and talk. Let's make sure that you've thought through everything and that you can rest 
and not even think about it unless of course you're doing your updates anymore and make sure that your loved ones are taken care of again you can check me out at my website and book a consultation or you can always call the office we're waiting for your call 609-479-1227 i look forward to talking to you